Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So if you finished chapter 3 of the side quest, as well as conquered the hard version of Nether Dungeon, the very hard version of Nether Dungeon opens up for you in Dogma Tower. And so um, I'm just going to do a quick run through, battling all 15 mobs, and gather the dark residue, and then finally show you the uh, boss battle as well. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also, I do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me that way. Like I've mentioned in previous videos, um, you will have to balance um, your team such that you're bringing characters that give a bonus to Dark Residue, while making sure you have enough strong characters in order to either survive the mob battles or the horror if you're unfortunate enough to run into one. And finally, the boss battle as well. Um, most of the enemies don't have any resistances, and the mummies do have a fire weakness. So, um, in my case, I'm bringing Aldo because he is my main source of additional light. This is a light based dungeon, so you'll need 120 light if you want all three rewards. Also, don't forget this is for Napa'u's um, farming for light if you choose to do that. So if you do, make sure you bring him in the back um, in order to A, gain XP if he's not maxed out, and B, for the rare chance of getting light. So uh, just as a review, if you use a green key, it is a 10% chance of increasing light. And if you're using a red key, it is a 20% chance. So again, with all dungeons, same thing. Five mob battles per level, three different areas. Um, and there are also two chests in the first area, one in the second, and three in the third. There is one rare chest in each um, of the three areas that have a higher chance of dropping more dark residue in this case. You won't be able to find any chance scripts or other gear or um, drops here other than dark residue, which is a little bit different from most normal dungeons. This coincides with most of the other types of uh, uh, dungeons where you have to farm certain materials um, such as in the IDA or the um, Tale of Two Swords, so on and so forth. And again, um, there are a number of characters to give you bonuses. You can see I'm currently carrying three, uh, which is uh, Brino, Benedict, and Tuva. Nopo also gives you a benefit as well. Now the newest 5 stars give you twice the benefit and Parisa also gives you one as well. So um, depending on your team makeup, you'll need to encounter this dungeon less or more. And like I said, the um, X slash Mark II being the fire based AoE really helps with uh, clearing these mobs. So um, my recommendation, especially with um, the types of mobs as well as the boss battle coming up later. Try to bring one magic user, um, preferably Tuva obviously. Um, if not Tuva then any other magic user that may have uh, good AoEs. First of all their m magic pool, uh, MP pool is very high so they can do more AoEs. And secondly, um, like I said the boss battle is tricky without magic users. Of course, having a healer is also um, useful in this, unless your team is made up of a whole bunch of fours, a uh, whole bunch of five stars. In which case, you may not need Mario. You can see that my four-star character already died, um, and you know I just kind of let him be. Now, in this third area, you can see that it's called remote um, space, and this is a rare area. So, all the chests have higher dark resident than normal. Um, normally they would only have, you know, between 3 and 500, but you can see the chests that I'm getting are in the 800 range, and you can actually get chests up to a thousand range. Also, I wanted to mention that the rare horror um, is in Area 2, and you may have encountered him in the regular Dogmon Tower. It's the um, horror that kind of rolls up into a ball. You can only attack it once physically, and then it rolls up and resists all physical attacks but is um, vulnerable to magic attacks, which is why you want to have at least one magic user just in case 
you encounter um, that horror. And of course, the horrors have lots and lots of dark residue points you can farm. You can see, obviously, I looped the wrong way and um, took a few extra steps on the bottom uh, middle there instead of here to the right. So um, if you retrace your steps properly, you will save a few seconds of play that way. Note that I also had to use food because I wasn't using a healer until this boss battle. All right, so if you fought this array, you know what's up. Um, again, a large version of the other mummies, so weak to fire. Um, no, uh, well, resistance to blunt, but no major resistance to elements. So, um, also, you can see that from the symbol there, he has a counter to all physical attacks. So, if you are making any physical attacks towards the boss, it will retaliate with a um, small physical attack, single target, but it inflicts poison at a very high rate, as you can see. It also has an additional single attack. As well so if each of you use a physical attack and attack four times it'll counter four times and then do an additional attack on top so can get quite annoying and you can actually die if you're not careful if you do have um, at least one fire character or a strong magic user you'll probably be able to beat the boss and in this case i used an af to beat it so um not too too challenging but being that the enemies in the very hard are level 65 you do have to have some precautions. And again, if you have tons of uh, strong characters, probably won't have to worry like I do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.